is to start with today, I'm going to show, I'm going to put some pictures up on the board, on the projector, and I'm going to ask you to discuss what you can see in the pictures. Specifically, can you see any connection between the pictures? Um, and do you know any extra information about these connections that you see? Okay, I'm going to ask you to speak with your partner about this for three or four minutes. Okay, and then we'll have a chat together. Okay, so are you going to read questions or look at pictures? Look at pictures. Fantastic. And what are you going to talk about the pictures, David? Is it more than one picture? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to talk about what? The, the links. The links between the pictures. The connect, good, the links, that's a nice word. And also, if you know... What they are. Anything extra. Anything extra. Thank you very much, Michael. For how long? Three, four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Michael, who's your partner? David. Aren't you lucky? Okay. <laughs> so here we go, guys. I'll show you the pictures first, and then I'll let you start. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so for... Just for three or four minutes with your partner, chat about those and what do you think the connection is? Okay, guys, let's, um, can I stop you there? Let's have a chat together. There's lots of intense conversations going on. Fantastic. Um, Steph, what did you guys say was the connection or the link between the pictures? Um, it's the... Incan... What's your picture? Spanish, Spanish conquistadors, or however you say it. Uh, invading. Invading the Inca territory. Anything similar? Yeah. Yes. Um, colonization. Say again? Colonization of, of the Inca people of Peru by the Spanish. Yeah. Very? Did anyone recognize this place? <laughs> Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. <laughs> and as um, Luke said, the Spanish conquistador. Good. And then you had that um, Peru. The map there the as well. Here. If you look at the. Sort of how population diminished over time as more of the conquistadors came in, uh, and then it's you're kind of connected to conflict between people. Mm -hmm. Good, Michael. And there's some extra information about the population decreasing. So the Spanish conquistadors would give free blankets out to the Incan people, oh, yeah, small and small yeah, get warm, mm -hmm. but then yeah, they're infested with smallpox, and the uh, immunity of the Incan people yeah. they've never been exposed to that, so it just wiped them out. That's very, very interesting. Thank you. It's a very interesting fact. Yeah, um, Luke, who's this again? Just say the word. A Spanish conquistador. It's not, it's not vital that you know that word, but a conquistador. Who's <laughs> the, the, the conquistador? Cool word. Yeah. Who's the painter? Sorry? Who's the painter? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, what's the topic um, of our lesson today? Incas. 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 The Incas. Oh, Fantastic. Incas. Incas. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to read a text about exactly what we've been talking about, this connection between the Incas and the, the Spanish, and the, you've got the map to give you an idea. Okay, so this is going to be our text today. It's like a little, a little um, bit of information about the history. What kind of things do you think that the text will talk about? This invasion of Inca territories. Invasion, good. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Laura? Why, culture. why the Spanish came? Why? Possibly. The location. Location. When? When? David? When? Yeah. Their civilization. In what way do you mean their civilization? Well, I mean, when the Spanish came, like, where were the Incas in terms of civilization? Their architecture, their culture, their their the resources, their yeah. military as well, people. like how the Spanish men. They were the only not warring uh, South American camp. <laughs> what did you, what, where did you say that? Your ways of life. Ways of life, yeah, culture, that, that sort of link. Perhaps, yes. Um, a 
so we're going to read the text in a moment, guys. Just before that, um, I just want <coughs> to look at some words that are going to come up in the text. Okay. <coughs> this is a map of the world. Not right now. All right, about a hundred years ago. Can you all see the red? Okay. The red represents all the countries that were once under the Queen of, of England, essentially. Queen, Queen Victoria? Yeah. So, can you see South Africa's there? Mm -hmm. are, we, are we under her now? Are we under no. her, her, her government? No, we were we? Yes. What were we part of, this whole great thing? Life. We are part of the Commonwealth Empire. now, but we were part of the... British, British Empire. British. Okay. Alex? British Empire. What's the last word that Alex said? Empire. Empire. Sanele? Empire. Yeah. So was it just like one country or lots of countries? Lots of countries. Could we make our own rules if we were in the Empire, or did we have to follow the rules of the Queen of England? Mark? Oh, Mark? Rules. Mark? <laughs> Yeah, we have to. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay. And there's the word. All right. Let's go to the next one. Um, here's a man walking out of a shop with lots of stuff. Do you think he bought it? No. Does this look like a shop normally does or something happened? Something's happened. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background to the situation. There's been a riot out on the streets. So what some people have done is they've gone into the shops and they've done what? They've stolen. Good. They've, they've taken stuff. But it's happened during a riot. So what can we say? Luke, say it again. Looted. So did they buy it or did they steal it? Steal. steal it. Did they sneak in in the middle of the night or were there loads of people outside? No, no, there people outside. Because there was a... Right. Good. So what's that word again? Right. What's the verb? To loot. To loot. To loot. What's the I what's the noun form or the ing form? Looting. Jason? Looting. Right, thank you. Now the pirates, you know pirates. Arr. Hundreds of years ago, um, they used to do something similar. They used to like park their boats, park their boats, and get out of the boats, and they would go into towns, and they would just take what they wanted. But back in the day, we didn't use the, they didn't use the word looting, there's a slightly different word. Pillage. Close, also starts with a P. Plunder. Seth? Plunder. Did you hear that, Alex? Plunder. Good. Do we use that word a lot now? No. No, but is it similar to looting? Yes. yes. Did they ask nicely for the stuff or did they just take it? No. Yes. Do you think they left the town in a nice state or did they completely destroy it almost? Destroy it. Fantastic. What was the word again, Leo? Plunder. And put it in the noun form for me? Plundering. Again? Plundering. Fantastic. Thank you. So, there we go. Okay. On to the next picture. Uh, here we've got some guys killing other guys. Ouch. Conflict. Absolutely, yeah. But uh, describe the way, you know, the way that they are Massacre. killing them. It's it's not very, not, it's very, very violent. 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 Okay. What's another way that we can say very, very violent? violent. Possibly. It starts with a B, I've heard it. Brutal. 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 Okay. Alex, say again. Brutal. Did you all hear that? Did you hear that, Seth? Yes. What did brutal, he say? Brutal. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. It was brutal, dude. Brutal. 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 Yeah. Brutal. <laughs> Is this an extreme word? Yes. yes. Absolutely. And traditionally, we use it in different ways now. You know, like if you uh, go out to your friend and you're like, you look fat in that dress. You should say, oh, that was a little bit. Brutal. Brutal. Yeah. But is it the same in this situation? No. no. It's referring to the level of? Violence. Violence. Absolutely. Fantastic. And is it a very high level? Yeah. It's very, very intense. Good. And there it is again. It's an edit. Okay. So, let me just go back quickly. Lots of countries taken over by one country. How did we refer to all the red? Empire. Empire. Yeah. 
That's an empire. Em empire. 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 Good, Steph. Empire. Lovely. Empire. Good. Empire. How many syllables does that have? Two. 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 Um, Absolutely. Two. <coughs> yeah, it's better like sort of, it's almost like a sort of two and a half yeah. kind of situation. Yeah, it's one of those strange. So we definitely have the first one, and then we have this. Aya. Uh, Aya, uh, good. But a lot of people just say empire. Ah. Uh, if you're the queen, yes. Yeah, empire. Delta empire. But if it is two sounds, I think we can almost say it is. What are, what are those last two sounds? M. And the last time. Paya. Good, so paya. Almost like a pie, and then afterwards you finish, you're like, ah, uh, pie, uh. <laughs> Where's the stress on there? First or second? Empire. Second. Empire. Empire. What kind of word is this? Adjective, noun, verb? Noun. Fantastic. Did the countries who were in the empire necessarily want to be in the empire? No. Or were they taken by force? Taken by force. <laughs> what are these guys doing again? Looting. Listen. Looting. 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 Everyone together, looting. Looting. Andrea? Looting. Lovely. Looting. Looting. <laughs> How many syllables? Two. 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 Where's the stress? Looting. 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 What kind of word is it? In this sense. Gerund. Gerund, which is essentially a noun. Okay. Uh, what are the pirates are? Plunder. 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 Good. Listen. Plunder. 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 Mark? Plunder. Lovely. Thank you. How many syllables? Two. Two. Yeah, absolutely. What did we say though? Did we say plunder or? Plundering. So plunder is the verb, but plundering is the? Good. How many syllables now? Three. What's this sound here? Is it ooh or ah? Ah. And where's the stress? Plundering. Plundering. Beginning. Is Mina? Beginning. First one. Good. Yeah. So with looting and plundering, they, are they buying stuff or are they stealing it? Stealing. Are they leaving everything intact once they leave or are they leaving it in a complete mess destroyed? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Yes. Do we use plundering now? Yes. It's sort of an older word. And then there was the last one. What kind of violence was this set? Brutal. Brutal. Say it again. Brutal. Listen. Mm. Brutal. 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 David? Brutal. Thank you. Brutal. Mm. Um, what does it say? It said, said brutal. You know, that's a funny thing that we do um, in English. How many syllables does brutal have? Two. Very often in, in South African English, T's, especially in the middle of the word, change to D's. Okay. It's a very South African thing. But, but for the sake of syllables, brutal. You can say brutal, that's fine. Um, but definitely two syllables. Now, you see here, there's also this letter. Is it an U or an A? Ooh. So is it the same as this one? No. No. Brutal. Short or long sound? Long Brutal. Long sound. <coughs> it's quite long, isn't it? Where's the stress there? Brutal. Brutal. Michael? Ooh. First one. <laughs> bru. Hey, bru. Yeah. Good. So what kind of word is brutal? It's describing. Yeah. Good. Fantastic, guys. So there are some words that I'd like you to look out for in the text that you might need to um, know from the text. Okay. So, what I'm going to ask you guys to do now, I'm going to give you the text, okay, and I'm going to ask you to read the text quickly on your own. And I'd like you to, wh what's missing from the text? It says it there. Is a title or a heading. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to read the text and write a title. Okay, and I'm going to give you three minutes to read the text and one minute to write the title. So if you've got three minutes to read the text, are you going to read every word or are you going to get the general idea of the text? Yeah, absolutely. Now a title, 
is usually related to the text or not? Yeah. Yes. What, what does it contain? Every idea or the general main idea? Fantastic. How long are titles usually? How sh are they more than perhaps seven words? Less than three words? So your title is going to be somewhere between perhaps three or four to seven words. But I don't want more than seven, please. Okay. Are you going to read together or are you going to read alone? How much time do you have? Three minutes, minutes to read and one minute to decide. So like, are you going to read in detail or are you just going to get the general idea? General. And you're going to write a? How many words? <laughs> and the title should contain what? The main idea. Is there? The main idea. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Steph. Okay, guys. So, once I've given the last person the text, you can read there. titles, check that they're the right amounts of words, and see if you've got anything similar to your partner. If it is different, discuss why you wrote something perhaps different to your partner. I'll give you guys two minutes to do that. Okay, sweet. It's so different. It's so Yeah, I thought you were about, you know, exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, let's hear some of your um, ideas, guys. So, Sinem, did you and Mark have something similar? Yeah. And do you want to tell us about it? So, mine was The Fallen Empire, and his was The Empire and the Last Temple. The Last Temple. <laughs> Right. Did anyone else have anything? So there was this idea that they are. This, a few, someone else had lost as well. Yeah. As Mina? I had Inca and then lost but not forgotten. Did Noreen have something similar? Uh, not really, but hers was along the lines of them being wiped out, so unfairly wiped out. So she focused more on the devastation surrounding it. So mine sort of has devastation, but it also brings back the idea that we still know so much about them and I'm still finding things. Mm -hmm. So there's this idea that they're not here anymore. Seth? Yeah. Oh, uh, the Incas go along South America's lost gods. Someone else said something about gods, David. Uh, mine is gods that went extinct. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. Jason, Laura, anything else? Uh, we wrote very different things. I wrote the amazing empire of the Inca culture and he wrote the defeat of the conqueror. So. No, actually, but it, it went into a lot of detail about the, the empire. And Alex, you and Hansela? Hansela has the amazing Inca. The amazing Inca. So it's very similar to the last <laughs> Mine is more focused on um, before they were conquered. Okay. Inca, empire of the clouds. Okay. No, absolutely. But the, the, the general idea was that it was this um, empire. Okay. And yes, and absolutely, um, you had that idea that was it a positive that they disappeared or generally a negative yeah, feeling? Yeah. Good. So there was that element in your title, so well done. Okay, I'm going to ask you to read again <coughs> in a moment. And this time, um, before, did you read in detail or just for the general idea? Detail. You read? You got the general idea, you were meant to, yeah. Um, and this time I'm going to give you a little bit more time to read in a little bit more detail. This time I'm going to give you about six minutes to read the article again, okay? And I am going to give you something to do while you read. A piece of paper that looks like this, all right? Here there are four columns and here there are eight phrases. They're not complete sentences. Um, what you, I'm going to ask you to do is put each of the phrases under the correct column as you read, okay? The first column is the Inca Empire. The second column is the Inca Society. 
The third is the Conquistadors, and the fourth is Machu Picchu. All right. So what you do is you read the phrases, and according to what you read in the text, you put each phrase in the correct column. Do you think you need to write the whole phrase or just the letter? Just the letter. They're lettered A to H, so just write the letter, not the whole phrase. Okay. Um, well, just quickly, what's the difference between the Inca Empire and the Inca Society? Do you think? Remember that idea of empire, Naya? No? His empire is everybody that they because the is not every really conquered because the Inca were friendly. Everybody that they gathered and joined, yeah. and in the society, I think was socially yeah. them everyday yeah. everyday living. No, I mean a, a good way to explain is just through the British Empire. So yeah. what I'm saying, so you have the British Empire, there was the empire, but the society in let's say Australia or New Zealand had its own culture. There wasn't it was under British rules, but there are social rules for that. So empire, is it talking about the day-to-day um, -day life or the, the, the area that it made up? The area yeah. that it made up. The area that it made up almost, and the, perhaps numbers of people. But also the society is then referring to their everyday life, culture, culture. Yeah. things like that. Fantastic. Okay. So just as an example, the first phrase is 12 million people. 12 million people, and your choices are the Inca Empire, Inca Society, the Conquistadors, or Machu Picchu. 12 million people, what does that refer to? Everyone agree? David, do you agree? Fantastic. So A will go into the first column. Okay, guys. So are you going to write the full phrase or just the letter? Just the letter. Can you use um, one phrase in more than one column? No. No, so one phrase goes in each column. Okay. Um, and how long have you got this time? Six minutes. Six minutes. Reading alone again or together this time? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'm going to stop you there. Please put your pens down. Please don't worry if you're not finished. Um, can you please just check the answers that you do have with your partner and see if you have the same. If you have different, discuss why, please. So, Sonelli, can you just stop you? Just check. Don't worry if you're not finished. Okay. Okay guys, um, can I stop you there? Let's check together. Don't worry if you haven't checked all of them yet. Alright. We did A together. What, what did we say for A again? Yeah, Empire. Wonderful. Luke, what did you have for B? B, I put at Machu Picchu. Laura, did you have the same? I have the same. Wonderful. <laughs> Laura, can you tell us where you put C? Uh, in case society. Alex, the same? Yep. And what did you say for D, Alex? Uh, I said the conquistadors. Everyone agree, Luke, the same? Anything different? <coughs> okay. Fantastic. This is always a very um, dangerous question to ask, but did you find it an interesting text? Very nice. They were a fascinating group of people, weren't they? Um, I think the part of the text that most surprised me when I read it was the fact that there was so much more to them than I knew. I, I did always, even as the text said, they weren't just this kind of brutal society. And I think the thing that surprised me the most was that they were an empire, but not by conquest. They were an empire by assimilation. I mean, does, has it ever happened again? Yes, uh, Romans used to assimilate all the time. Okay, topic. but you know, again, that would that surprises me. Mm -hmm. All right, so what I'm going to do, guys? Yes, Michael. But also, you know, you think it implies that they did use violence as well. They also used violence, definitely. Absolutely, but that that wasn't just what they were about, because very often when you learn about the Incas, they were just this like brutal race. Mm -hmm. There was actually a lot more to them compared to the other civilizations at the time. They were not brutal. So what I'm going to ask you to do, guys, so that's, that, what did I just tell you? I gave you my opinion, opinion about some, a personal opinion about something that I read. Okay, so I'm going to give you a piece of paper that looks like this, and you're going to see lots of beginnings 
of sentences. For example, the first one is, the part of the text that surprised me was, and then I gave you my answer. Another example is, I think the worst thing about the conquistadors was. Okay, now there's quite a few of them. All right, there's two, four, six, eight beginnings of sentences. I'm going to ask you to choose two of these and complete them with my ideas or your own ideas? My own ideas. Um, so I want you to do this alone just to start with. Just write your own ideas. Okay. Are you going to write ideas for all of them, Nao? No, just two of them. You're going to choose two. Fantastic. Can you choose any two that you want? Yes. Are you going to write your own op opinions about uh, South Africa or about the text you just read? About okay. the text you just read. Wonderful. On your own, I'll give you guys about two or three minutes just to write your sentences. Alright guys, so hopefully everyone's got one or two sentences that they've completed. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put you into groups. Okay, so one, two, so nearly three, four. So you guys are a group. One, two, three, four, you're a group. One, two, three, four, you're a group. One, two, three, four, you're a group. What I'm going to ask you to do is, not now, when I say, stand up with your piece of paper. And I'd like you to discuss your sentences within your group and see if anybody completed the same sentences as you. If so, maybe they completed them in a different way. Listen to the ideas that the other people in your group had about the text they just read. Okay. So, are you going to do the sitting down or standing up? Standing Pairs down. or groups? Groups. Okay. Um, are you going to be giving your piece of paper to someone in the group or are you going to be telling them what you wrote? Telling them. So, do you think you'll ask um, some more questions? about other people's opinions. Good. Yeah. All right, guys. And I'll give you guys a good sort of five minutes to do this. Lots of talking. <coughs> Stand up for me. Well, this might be interesting. Because I remember reading about you know, the second thing, I think the conquistadors were able to beat the conquistadors. Apparently, it's actually just like the They had a different idea of the map, so they actually played touch with the conquistadors. So it's like they wouldn't kill the guy, but they would do they go up to these and go like that. You know, like, kill me. So they stop them. You know, like, they don't actually kill the guy. They the 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 by discussion, yeah. <laughs> um, Jason, what was said so um, passionately talking about then? Uh, right now or earlier because you were speaking passionately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to speak passionately. Either. Uh, right now uh, he was telling us about how like, because Sanele asked him, um, do you think it's possible to like expand your colony without being violent? And then Seth kind of answered him by saying that well, at some stage there is like military conflict, but then uh, there, ne there needs to be a point where they reach an agreement. So that's where the actual taking over happens. So it kind of like sparked some quite lively discussion going into other things even as well. Yeah. Anything else, Laura? Yeah. Well, we had different ideas of, about how the conquistadors were able to defeat the Inca okay. army. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was because they had firearms and horses and maybe Incas thought about them like gods, like it happens with other cultures. Sure. But I uh, said thought another story. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to hear the yeah. uh, no, I just remember reading something where they, they had a different idea of war. So they would actually 
the Incas were play fighting. So the <laughs> so they would go up like to a conquistador and like you know like they had the axe and they go up behind him and they touch him. It's like now I done, play dead, you know? Oh, Whereas the okay. conquistadors were like <laughs> you know, like, sorry. Hey, how about that one? You okay, know what I mean? Yeah. But like that, like they initially, I mean, it changed a little bit. But initially, like the Incas were sort of taken by surprise because they used to play fight like that with mm. other things. Like I've shown my dominance. There's no need to actually have bloodshed. I would have won. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, stopped it there. Yeah. Michael. I also read that when they arrived, they were kind of welcomed by the Inca people, and then they went to a big like banquet yeah. with That's the Aztecs. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking about this text that you read, Mark. What else? What did your group talk about? Um, just how brutal they were. They used smallpox to actually decimate the population. Yeah, brutal is a great word to describe it. Um, I know that you wrote something about uh, biological warfare. Oh. What else, Andrea? Yeah. What did you guys have a chat about? Anything similar in your group? Uh, well, I said the best thing about the Inca my opinion was that they were tolerant and um, similar to new people's their culture and religion. Uh, and then I said the same, I said I think the best thing about the Inca was the acceptance and admiration of other societies. Oh, anyway, it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And your group, Asuna? Uh, well, the reason I both answered the question about um, I would like to go to Machu Picchu because, and she said to go and look at the culture and the history, the historical context, and for me, it was sort of similar, but I'm quite keen to go and climb the mountain and maybe do a little bit of research there while I can. That's my archaeology coming through. Yeah. That's a bit inspired, but you know, there's no well. oxygen, so that's <laughs> yeah, why, why you might want to not go. And Manzala, anything else? I have the same thing as Andrea and you. Okay, yeah, so that idea. So, yeah, where they were very tolerant. There seemed like a very double-sided society there, they kind of like side of them that might have been brutal but also very assimilative. Great. Okay guys, fantastic. I'm glad that you enjoyed the reading. That's great and I hope everyone learned a little bit of something new today and also some new words and things like that. So thank you very much. Thank you.